Today is a super exciting day because today we're going to Taiwan, which is really close to the Philippines, it's around a two hours flight. And today we're going to tell you how to get from Taoyuan International Airport by express to the city center. We have no more money in the car. Oh no! Walk through the streets of Taipei City. This reminds me to Japan because... Taste the most iconic Taiwanese dish, try the original bubble tea. Amazing taste! And finally taking a look at Chiang Kai-shek Memorial and enjoy the historical Chinese infrastructure. Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Good morning travelers here from Manila International Airport. Good morning. Taiwan, personally, I have been to, I think for two or three times, but I don't really remember much about it. Just because every time when I go, it's a very short trip, maybe like a, a day or two. Alina's first time in Taiwan. I expect it maybe it will be so modern. I remember last time, my only memory of Taiwan is that it has a similar vibe as Japan. Especially there's this area called Simen Ding that's gonna look like Shinjuku in Japan. So I'm super excited about this. Sounds good. <laughs> yeah, this morning we actually woke up super early and before we tell you about the entry requirements, let's find a seat. There are two types of entry requirements uh, for me because I'm an Australian passport holder, so I actually get a visa exempt. But for Alina... Because I'm a Russian. <laughs> Before two weeks, we apply for visa in Taiwan Embassy in Manila. I wait just around two weeks, they send me a message in the mail, yeah, and I go pick up my visa. Yeah. So luckily they, they give me... It was quite easy actually. The documents they oh. asked for, it's quite reasonable, like passport, photos. To apply for Taiwanese visa, we should give them tickets that we buy already. When we apply, I don't know if they give me visa or not, but we already buy tickets. Yeah. If they say no, then maybe <laughs> my tickets like... Before coronavirus, for Russian people, it was free entrance too. And also given the current situation, I yeah. think. But anyway, if everything goes well, we'll see you guys in two and a half hours. All right, see you guys in Taipei. <laughs> Welcome to Taipei Taoyuan International Airport. It's so freaking cold inside the airport, I don't know why. But anyway, we just went for immigration. How are you feeling? I feel nice. They don't ask me like no one questions. So <laughs> yeah. easy. Every time we pass the uh, visa border, the immigration border, I always feel very nerve-wracking, especially for Lena because, uh, because <laughs> Russian. Because every country always asks me so many questions, like why are you going, what is your job, what are yeah. you doing in the country. But everything it was so smooth just now. It's such an amazing feeling seeing everything in traditional Chinese, something that I can read everything. You know, sometimes when you go to a new country, you don't understand nothing. Well, this is not it because I understand most of the things that said here. For example, now we're trying to find our transportation card. So we book our transportation card. It's called Easy Card here through Kluk. And we're just gonna go to pick up and show you guys what it's like. We just got our SIM card here for 10 days. So the next 10 days, we'll be using this together. So because we always, when we travel, we always try to buy one SIM card. We only need one SIM card to call, technically. And this card has unlimited hotspot, unlimited 4G internet, so it's perfect. So it's only $16. Wow, look at this. They have lockers. Usually, if you come to some country and you have only 24 hours, maybe transit, you don't know where you need to put this luggage, but this is so convenient. I love it. I really love it. So next thing we need to pick up here is the Easy Card. So Easy Card is essentially a transportation card that you can use wherever you go. This includes Airport Express as well. And the counter we need to pick up is actually right in front of the MRT station at this place called Metro Taoyuan S-Fly thing. So there are two lines, redeem reservation or buy tickets to Taipei. And because we actually booked our tickets, the, the card, Easy Card on Kluk, so we get to pick it up from here directly instead of the hassle of buying it on the spot. If you want to save money on Kluk, you can use our code Project Wear 5 Off to get 5% discount on any purchase on Kluk. Airport Express and my first observation is that the view is great to be honest the view is beautiful from the airport to the main city so I think the journey is gonna be around a 30 minutes ride and we're gonna take the train from all the way 812 Terminal 1 is all the way to the Taipei main station and this is where our hotel is located as well and we're gonna train to another train line to see what normal train line it's like in Taiwan Whenever we go to a new country, one thing we really like to do is to check out new convenience stores. So here in front of us, we've got Family Mart. So let's see what they sell here in Taiwan convenience stores. Let's just see what see. is different. Yeah, I just want to see what kind of products they sell here. Oh. 
Oh, so many bakery. Whoa. Everything looks like a, like Japanese snacks. Yeah, it feels very elegantly packed. Mm. Lots of dry products here as well. I can see seaweed. Ooh, so many new things. I want to try everything. These all look like imports, like Japanese or Korean products. We need tea. A lot of tea because, because Thailand, Thailand is very famous. Love tea. Exactly, that's what I'm going to say. Yeah. I think typical beers, nothing special. Whoa, they got a whole fridge session of different food. Whoa, this is like sea broccoli in a package you can buy. Is it frozen? I don't think so. I think it's ready to eat. You can just microwave all these. I feel like people who can come to a convenience store in Taiwan, they actually can eat more healthy food here. That is very true. So just based on what we're looking at just now, you've got veggies, you've got chicken or you've got rice. So everything is balanced. This is the list with Wagyu. <laughs> no way. <laughs> That's crazy. With uh, truffle, it says. Ah. Uh, Chong lo. It just looks like Wagyu. Well, next few episodes, we're going to show you a special 7-Eleven only in Taiwan. in semen ding. It's got... It's like a lace themed 7 Eleven. So, I can't wait to show you guys. Oh, this is like beef jerky. So, it's like a dry beef. Mm. It's very famous in uh, Taiwan. Mm -hmm. 20, how much it is? 37 pesos for that one banana. Oh, you this kind of reminds me of Hong Kong again, just because for transiting different train lines, usually there is a super long walk. I think it's very similar here. The Taipei main station connecting to the green line, it seems like there could be like a five to 10 minutes long walk. and the staff was super nice so he actually gave us a map here to explain where everything is there are lots of local restaurants around here but unfortunately they said they don't take credit cards but only cash just now I also asked for where I can get ATM so he just uh, gave me a map showed me the where the ATMs are so, so close. surprisingly I don't know how they keep the cookies warm in the drawers it's like an oven inside we can wait and we start eating this cookie right now because oh I'm hungry God. if you're non-native English speaker you might be wondering how can I improve my English besides from taking lessons it is by writing English accurately what do I have to tell you there's an online tool you can use to sharpen your writing abilities. I'm talking about Quillbot. The paraphraser tool aids students and professionals in rewriting, editing, and changing the tone of the text to increase clarity and accuracy. It improves my vocabulary and makes me a confident writer. The translated tools provide precise translation for 35 different languages. However, my favorite part about Quillbot is the seven built-in modes that rephrase and reformat sentences so that my thoughts come out in more natural English. And today we're going to try the shortened mode. Concise and precise language helps readers quickly figure out your message and the shortened option is perfect for this. The website is extremely user-friendly but I prefer to use Quillbot as a Chrome extension because it improves my writing immediately in email, Notion and documents as I type and save me so much time. So if you want to improve your writing then click the link in the description and start using Quillbot today. So we can put your bags here. Toilet. Oh, I like this. Got many buttons here. Looks like Japanese styled. Some coffee machine and some capsules right there and I was told the drinks in the fridge are complimentary. Green tea and Coca-Cola. Whoa, look at this view. Very spacious bathroom with nice bathtub here as well. I think I've got all the amenities here, shampoo, conditioner and shower gel. And then you've got a glass window looking at our room. So this is where we'll spend next two nights, our spacious bedroom. Let's check out a view from here. So apparently according to staff, you can actually see Taipei 101 from here. Let me see where is Taipei 101. All right, bed test, go. How is it? All right, perfect. <laughs> After the starters, which is the cookie, now it's time to get main course. Finally, I wait this all day. So we just left the hotel and now we're walking to our lunch place and just want to give you some observations that I noticed here in Taiwan. My feeling about Taiwan is that it's a mix of the new and the old. So there are lots of new transportations, e-bikes, e-cars everywhere. Transportation wise it's very modern but in terms of infrastructures I saw lots of preserved old buildings around Taiwan. This is what I'm talking about, the mix of modern and the old. You've got lots of like massive banners and ads on buildings taking up every single inch of space in the building. This reminds me to Japan because in Japan, this is like special style where everywhere is at. Maybe at night, if it lights up, then it's exactly like yeah. Japan. Because always, it's the neon lights that catch my attention in Japan and like lots of things happening. Technically, it just adds, but looks so atmosphere. You know, just set on a building, those are like 
for tuition classes, oh, really? ads. Yeah, so like big oh. ads saying like they can teach mathematics, <laughs> chemistry. Luckily, I don't understand. That's why for me, it's just like beautiful hieroglyphs. After around 20 minutes of walking, we have arrived at our next destination, which is our lunch place. So today for lunch, we're eating at Liu Shandong beef noodle store. So this store is famous for beef noodle as I said because beef noodle is a very signature classic dish here in Taiwan that you must try if you're here in Taiwan. So you see lots of people are eating there. Somebody will need to wait. Yeah, need to wait a little bit. All right, we are next. Some was us. Asian is not like mine. In Asian culture, there is always like a long line because people are very disciplined. They're like waiting in line and people will actually wait for an hour just to get a special lunch or dinner. Yeah, it's crazy. Russian people never do this. Russian people if you see the big line, they're like, okay, I will go to another cafe. <laughs> well, in Asian countries, wherever you go, you need to wait for a long line. So yeah, we're used to it, being patient. We ordered one pure noodle and the other one braised noodle. So I think we've got different soup just to try it out which one's better. Yeah. I guess I'll sit there then. Yeah. We are sitting in very close proximity. We only have like half the table space for us to eat lunch. That's okay. There you go. Yeah. Wow, the beef looks so good. Mm. You have one second to try, otherwise I'm so hungry I will be like a hulk. Yeah. The broth is amazing. Oh my goodness, this is like one of the best meals ever. Okay. This uh, reminds me of Hong Kong beef brisket actually. It's so juicy. Soup is nice. Mmm, mm. mm. It reminds me of the formal. Let them miss. Soup. Okay, 10 to 10. The price, that's it. People are incredibly friendly. So just the girl sitting opposite us actually recommend us to get one of these. I don't know what they are. She suggests us to mix it with the noodle and the soup, and apparently it would taste amazing. It's one of the most like signature thing about this store. It has a strong taste. All right, let's see. I personally am not afraid. Really? What is this? How you can describe it? Medicine. No, really? Oh, I want to try one. Right? I'll, I'll take one. Mm. So interesting. I like it. Really? Wow. I don't know how to describe it. Really like a medicine, something like... Like Chinese herbs kind of thing. I'm not very familiar with this taste, so I guess that's why I didn't really like it. But interesting texture and taste. I don't know what is this. It's a little bit sour, a little bit spicy. A yep. little bit... First time drink. Thank you. That was a good meal, I must say. That was really filling because the noodles are quite thick. They remind me of udon in a way, but they're not really because they're more chewy and it's more filling, more heavy, I would say. And the soup was really nice. At first, I was leaning towards the braised pork, braised beef one, but after that, I switched side. I think I went to the clear soup one. I like the clear soup mm -hmm. one more. Feels like because we first day in uh, Taiwan, so it's the taste of Taiwan. Yes, it's a good <laughs> intro to Taiwan cuisine. And now we're gonna drink bubble tea because it's a second, the best famous dish, the drinks. Drinks. Drinks in Taiwan that they have made this. It's a burn here. Just now in a subway we find this place where is every sucks for 120 uh, Taiwanese dollar. dollar. So Tea. we decide to buy this for Justin. Yes, it because I've only brought like two pairs of socks this time because all the other ones are broken or damaged this time. I'm gonna buy some socks. Let's go. So Chicago. convenient. Ni hao. The next destination we've arrived at the famous bubble tea place. This is the same shop where the first bubble tea was born but not exactly the same shop, same location. It's a different location because it's actually a branch. So let me show you. This place is called Chun Sui Tang. This is, see? It says, World Originality Pearl Milk Tea. Wow. So while there are a couple of places around the city with the same exact shop but we decided to come this one which is more convenient. Milk tea. Very interesting. Just a quick glance, you see most of the things are in Chinese, but there is actually a small description in English. I believe that's the one. It says, Wells number one, the creator of pearl milk tea. Okay, which one we're gonna try? So we're gonna try that cool one, of course. Oh, big one. Let's try big the big one. one. Wells first bubble tea. Let's see how it is. Hello. I think this is my first time ever sitting in to drink a bubble tea and this place also serve other meals as well. So we ordered two small bubble tea just in total of 200 but there is 10% service charge of 220 
new Taiwan dollars. Pretty good price for a bubble tea or two bubble tea. I want to like Wow, amazing taste. Don't have so high expectations, otherwise you'll be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Bubble tea is here. It looks like more milky and more... More like a tea. Yeah, it looks more like a tea. So I'm excited. It looks very authentic. Uh, so pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like sweet at all. 50% sugar, not sweet. Yeah, we asked for 50% sugar and yeah. We asked 50% sugar in Philippines and it's so sweet. But yeah, what about bubbles? What do you think? Bubbles is just like the bong cha. No, the bubble is so different here. Really? The bubbles here are smaller. Smaller, yeah, so small. Yeah, it's I don't a like lot smaller, smaller, like bigger. Really? I kind of like, like this like texture. These bubbles. I kind of like this texture when it's smaller. It tastes like it. it's so strong taste tea. Yeah. The black tea. Salina's favorite place is actually brown sugar bubble tea. I think it's in the Philippines somewhere. We had a bubble so tasty. So we just came out of the bubble tea shop and let me give you my honest review about this place and to be honest, I think there are good parts and bad parts about this bubble tea so I'm going to be completely transparent with you guys The good part is that I like bubbles are small and there is a lot Every sip of that drink, you feel like you're sipping some bubbles so that's good but I feel like some of the bubbles are actually stuck in my throat right now I can feel it, it's like right here For me it's like, okay, because I didn't have too high expectations for coming here that other bubble tea is exactly the same like original, right? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it will be strange if other tea like, so tastes different than original bubble tea. After lunch bubble tea, we came to our final destination for today, Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall. So I'm not going to go into too deep about the history of like Chiang Kai-shek in Taiwan. But basically, Chiang Kai-shek is the former president of the Republic of China who led the army against the Japanese during World War II. But then after that, he was defeated by the Chinese Communist Party and led his people to Taiwan from the Republic of China. So now this Memorial Hall is used for a lot library and museum and the main color in this park is actually blue, white and red as you can see in the infrastructure that represents the Taiwanese flag. And the reason why we're staying like this is because now it's so heavily it's raining so and heavy we try rain. to put our phone like this. So as you can see the clouds rolling in just now so we decided to find some shade and apparently the one behind me here is actually not a museum or library it's actually a national theater and now it's currently used as a dance floor for most young people whether it's TikTok or professional dancing over there and at the entrance of this memorial, it says Ziyao Guangcheng. It means freedom, plaza. Basically, it has this meaning of freedom and maybe about democracy as well, about how people here in Taiwan can freely express themselves or have the freedom to do whatever they want. I can feel freedom here in this place. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look at the space here. It's quite spacious. It makes you feel like very freedom, right? <laughs> so many space for walk, relaxing, good park. All right, guys, hope you've enjoyed our first day here in Taiwan. If you want to watch more Taiwanese series, then follow Follow now because we'll be releasing more exciting episodes here in Taiwan. And don't forget put like, comment and subscribe to our channel right now because it really helps us a lot. Exactly. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye bye. See you next time.